Hello and welcome to the latest installment of This Week in Chesterfield. I'm Teresa Boniface with Constituent and Media Services here to tell you about some of the things happening in your community for the week of November 13th. There's a blood drive today at Huguenot Road Baptist Church until 3 p.m. So make sure you go to the redcross.org website to sign up and give something that means something to start this holiday season. Tomorrow night, how about taking your teens over to the Chester Library from 6 to 7.30 for Knitting Basics, where they'll get to learn basic knit stitches that'll have them knitting scarves in no time. Registration is required. Then starting on Wednesday, check out the James River Art League exhibit at Swift Creek Mill Theater. Artists that take part in the league work in a wide range of media, everything from oil, acrylic, and watercolor painting to scratchboard, photography, and sculpture. You can see it all for yourself 10 a.m. until 5, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. Check the website for more dates this month. And then starting on Thursday, you can take the family to see the Adams Family Musical being presented by the Thomas Dale Theater Department. Don't miss this comical feast that embraces the wackiness in every family. The shows are Thursday and Friday starting at 7 and on the weekend at 2 p.m. Tickets are $8 for students, $10 for adults. Friday is the start of the Robert Wynn Southern Exposure Gallery opening at the Perkinson Center, beginning at 6 p.m. The exhibit captures the essence of living in the South with works that feature sun-drenched afternoons on a beach along the North Carolina coast to a late day stroll through a neighbor's garden. Tickets are free. And finally, let's stay at the Perk for Saturday's Bourbon Brisket and Brushes from 6.30 to 9.30 presented by the Chesterfield Cultural Arts Foundation and the Board of Directors of the Perkinson Center. You can indulge your senses with a captivating event filled with the joys of bourbon, delectable brisket, live painting, and music. The event is capped at 100 tickets, so make sure you get yours today. And as always, we're accepting your kindness campaign submissions anytime. If you see random acts of kindness around the county, we want to hear all about them. Go to our website and search This Week in Chesterfield for more information on all the things we just talked about. That's it for this week. Take care, everybody.